My name is Graham Henshaw. Uh, I'm the executive director of the Allen B. Miller Entrepreneurship Center. And I'm so glad you all are here to hear about this exciting announcement uh, between uh, the Miller Center and Ferguson for coming. So I'm going to just give you a really quick overview, uh, and then I'm going to uh, hand things off to uh, Mike Brooks from uh, Ferguson. Uh, so what is the Miller Center all about? Uh, in, in one term, we're about something called entrepreneurial thinking. Uh, and that is the skills and the mindset of an entrepreneur. Uh, we are we are not a startup factory. We love startups. Uh, that's my background. Uh, but that is not our focus. We're trying to equip students to be able to think and act like entrepreneurs, regardless of what they end up doing. Uh, they may end up going into consulting, or they uh, may end up being a teacher, or they may end up working at this really cool company called Ferguson. Uh, but they will have these ideas of entrepreneurial thinking, uh, which we think will make them uh, stickier employees, more valuable uh, employees. So speaking of programming, everything that we do falls into uh, a, a framework that we call learn, engage, build. So we have programming and resources that fall into those buckets. So learn are about the foundational entrepreneurial uh, thinking skills and mindset. So these are our workshops. Um, our courses and our curriculum. Uh, we have a new innovation and entrepreneurship minor. Engage uh, is about putting you face to face with other entrepreneurial thinkers. And so we do that by bringing them here. And so you'll see that every Friday. Uh, or we do that by taking you out to other entrepreneurial ecosystems. So we've taken students to San Francisco, we've taken students to Austin, uh, and sometimes we go closer home as well in Richmond, Virginia and, and on the south side. So that's engage, and then finally, we have build. And so build is where we really encourage students to skin their knees up a little bit, to try on uh, the skills and the mindset of an entrepreneur and see what happens. We have lots of competitions, lots of opportunities for students to do that. Uh, but today I'm excited because we have a program that really spans all of those, uh, learn, engage, build. And uh, that new exciting uh, program is made possible by a partnership with Ferguson. And so we're really excited to announce that. I wanna uh, bring Mike Brooks up to tell us a little bit more about that. He's the CMO of Ferguson. So please welcome Mike Brooks. So good afternoon. And based on the number of Ferguson people here, our productivity in New Bordeaux is way down. <laughs> so we need to innovate. <laughs> need to innovate. Um, we are excited and I'd like to thank um, William Mary School of Business and the Miller Entrepreneurial Center. Um, we're excited. I can't tell you how excited we are. Um, for those of you that don't know Ferguson and, and who we are, we're not a household name. Uh, the, the genesis of the company was around professional trades uh, and as a result, in terms of a consumer facing brand, uh, we're not as well known, although that's starting to change with our destination showrooms. Uh, but we are a, a company of uh, 27,000 associates, a little over 1,400 locations, uh, really primarily focused, and we're the largest wholesale distributor in the commercial and residential plumbing businesses, as well as the larger distributors in HVAC, waterworks, industrial, and fire protection. Um, and I'll tell you, the, the industry that we're in, construction, uh, we, we talk about a, a labor challenge in this country today, and a war for labor. Uh, you look at the construction trades, back in the downturn, almost a decade ago now, three million trades left the industry. Uh, two million of those never came back. So, so the trade industry today is a chronic shortage of labor that's impacting our production and our building in, in across the United States today. Uh, so we think there's an opportunity for Ferguson to partner with universities like William & Mary, the School of Business, to really look at how do we help bring innovation back into that, that industry. Uh, because quite honestly, for the last 50 years, the way we build homes today really haven't changed. Uh, we need to go and change that. And there's a lot of investments moving in, um, and that's one of the reasons we, we've created Ferguson Ventures. Uh, it's an opportunity for us to partner with you, with different startups, uh, with different innovation areas, and some of our own partners and, and vendors uh, to really look at changing, maybe a, a bit of a stretch, but changing the industry, changing how we go about doing business. Um, there's a lot of venture capital flowing into this area. We're, we're 
well aware of that. Um, so I, I couldn't be more happy, I couldn't be more excited about where the industry is going, where the partnership with, with the William Mary School of Business, Miller Entrepreneurship Center, and Ferguson are going to go. Um, high expectations, I will tell you. High expectations. And uh, given the talent the, that you have, uh, I have no concerns either. So uh, thank you very much. So I'm going to share a few details about the Innovation Challenge. Um, so would it excite you, students, if I told you that you would have the opportunity to potentially change an entire industry? Would that be something that you'd be excited to, to potentially do? You get that opportunity all the time, right? <laughs> change the whole industry. That's what this challenge is actually about. Ferguson recognizes that there is an opportunity, if not a need, for them to do that. And they have chosen to partner with us to help them do that. So I want to just sort of set the foundation that that's what this is about. Um, another important detail to know about the Ferguson Innovation Challenge is that in comparison to today's event, which is our rocket pitch, which lasts 90 seconds, the Ferguson Innovation Challenge lasts the entire spring semester. So this is an extended duration event. And it'll the other thing to know is that this is a team event. So we have all kinds of events at the Entrepreneurship Center. Some are individual, some are team. This is a team event. The scope of this challenge requires you to pull a team together in order to do this. And so uh, we want to incentivize you to build uh, diverse teams as well. So we want academically diverse teams. So the more academically diverse your team is, the more seed funding you will get uh, for your team. So that's another point to recognize. The work that you're going to be doing on this challenge will require you to build some prototypes. It's going to require you to go out in the field. It will actually require some expenses. And so we are seeding your teams with some money in order to uh, cover those costs, to build prototypes, to do customer interviews, and so forth. And then finally, this, this competition, this challenge, ends in a pitch. Um, we are going to have three months of activity leading up to this, where you're actually pitching what you believe would be a viable business model to disrupt this industry. And you'll pitch that uh, in April, and there will be cash prizes for, uh, for the, the winners. But not only that, because I think uh, that's something that you might expect from a big competition like this, prize money. But what we also have lined up, I think, is unique, in that because we are expecting these William and Mary ideas to really be uh, foundational and, and potentially changing these industries, we don't want it to end there at the pitch day. And so there are internship opportunities that are lined up for folks who've been working on this challenge throughout the spring semester. And so you'll get to continue that work embedded within the innovation team or Ferguson Ventures uh, to see if you can really take these ideas to the next level. So this is a, a really neat opportunity um, that, that extends beyond, I think, what you would normally see in, a, in an entrepreneurship center competition. And we're glad to be able to partner with Ferguson to make it be such a, such a big event.